truth of the matter, I was shocked by that review, just like I've been shocked by my whole career. When you come, like I do, from a family of rabbis, you know, I have three brothers who are rabbis, as I said on television a couple of days ago. And my father was a rabbi all of his life, and all of his life he always dreamed that all his children would be rabbis, that's all he lived for. So uh, naturally, when uh, it was time for me to become a rabbi, I didn't have the heart to tell my father that I'm not going to because that's all he lived for and I didn't want to hurt him. It would probably would have destroyed him if I, he suddenly found that one son was not a rabbi. So to force myself to become a rabbi wasn't easy because I didn't have the kind of conviction that a rabbi should have. So I started to perform as a rabbi and I was very uncomfortable at it. So I started to tell some jokes in my sermons here and there. And as the jokes got better and better, I started to charge a cover and a minimum. <laughs> And the basic thing is that as the Gentiles in the area heard about me, more and more Gentiles came to see me. So many Gentiles came that before you know it, there was no room for the Jews. The Jews, the Jews couldn't get in the building. They couldn't get in there. I became the only rabbi of a Gentile congregation in the room. 